Okay, so we click the skip intro button and it jumps us to the end of the movie right here. And now what are we going to do? Well, a couple of things here. By the way, you can see here I've lost my flag for my frame label, but if I click on the keyframe, you can see the label is still there. So uh, a good thing to do sometimes is to move your frame labels to a separate layer. So if I wanted to, I could make a new layer here, labels, and whoops and then I could go here and I could get rid of this end label off of this frame so I just highlight it backspace and hit enter and then on my new layer for my labels I'll hit uh, right click on that frame and insert a keyframe and then put that in there end and hit enter so it takes and now you can see I have the flag on a separate layer as opposed to my actions that's good because now I can see the flag so that's nice. Um, so when we get we click the um, skip intro button, we get to this frame, what are we going to do? Well, we want to load our website. Well, I have a folder here. This is where I've been putting all my files. And you can see we're in intro 6. But I've made a test, um, a test file called website.fla. And I made a movie for it called website.swift. And so here it is. I'll show it to you. Here it is. It's just one frame. It says, my website test and then I hit control enter to make a movie and so what we want to do is we want to when we get to the end here we want to have a piece of code here that loads the website test file okay so it loads that movie the website movie this one right here but the Swift so what I can do is once again I can go to file new and I go to templates sample files and preloader for external file and I showed you that before so I'm gonna use that I already have it open it's right here and I'm gonna grab this code that's right in this template file and I'm just gonna grab the top part of it okay just grab that top part of it or I could grab the whole thing if I want let's grab the whole thing Control C to copy, and then back to my movie, and last frame, and underneath the stop, I'll paste it, okay, and so I've pasted all of that code, and we can see here, what is it doing? Well, it starts off with a variable called content loader, which is a loader, and then the second line says load content, and then it gives a, an address. I'm going to change that address, and I'm just going to say webs website.swf which is the name of my movie that I want to load so I say load content you see it's going to load a URL um, all of this is good and there's a progress bar if we want to we can get that progress bar too so what I can do is I can go back to the flash file and I can just grab this progress bar and cut it it's just a bar and I can paste it I'll paste it um, on another layer I'll paste it let's say right here I'll put a blank keyframe or I'll put a keyframe on layer 13 let's see here insert keyframe and then paste and there's the progress bar okay notice if you select it it has its name here now what I can do is I can delete this little test swatch of color that I was using to, to signify the end of the intro so I'll delete that and what should happen is we should hit skip button we should go and we should get here and we get here it should load the other movie so let's give it a try. All right, there's our movie playing. We click the skip intro button. And there's my website test, which got loaded in to um, the movie. So it actually did load the movie right here. It's showing up in the upper left hand corner with this black background. Um, so that worked. Okay, so even though it worked in the last movie, I want to try out a couple of things. I'm going to make a new layer here, and I'm going to get a rectangle here, 
rectangle tool and I'll put white as the color or I'll even put like a light yellow a black outline and I'm gonna draw a box and I'll draw a box over the stage here of our test file that we're loading okay and then I'll switch the layers so that the text is on top so there is the, um, the file that we want to load right so I'm gonna save it and then I'll hit control enter to publish a movie there it is right and now I'll go back to our intro here and when we get to the end it's supposed to load right so delete this um, so I'll hit control enter and play it so there's our movie loading or playing and then we'll see what happens here at the end you can see it actually does load it's a l off center because the the file that we're loading is not the same size as the one that we've loaded um, from so in other words this movie if I click on the background with my selection tool and I look at the property window I can see that this is a thousand twenty four by seven sixty eight but this test site that we've loaded into is 550 by 400 so we're loading a smaller file into a larger file and well that's why it's in the upper left hand corner so but as far as we know everything is working and it's working quite well what we can do if we want to double test this is I'll go to the website I'll open up the other library and I'm gonna drag in a couple of images here just to add some size so there's an image right here just add this image into this file to add some size and to see if the progress bar works or not that's the last thing we have to test is when we're using this other file is this progress bar effectively working before it loads the other object into our window and that's one thing that we want to test so to do that I will hit control enter control stop uh, view bandwidth profiler and let's test it out with a download settings of DSL and say view simulate download so now we'll see the loader and then we'll see if our progress bar is working or not I'm gonna let it play all the way to the end sure enough the loading bar works and then the websites loaded 